So Kirby Star Allies is Nintendo's big month for the game of March that's coming out exclusively on the Nintendo Switch because it's a Kirby game, it's a Nintendo IP. And if you watch my upcoming Switch Games of March video, you would know that I've been a bit hesitant about this game. I've kind of been on the fence about it. I thought it looked like a standard Kirby experience, which while that's good, I kind of wanted something a little bit more, I felt. So I felt, you know, this would be a perfect game for a demo. And while North America didn't get a demo, Europe did. Well, RGT, I live in North America. How am I gonna get my hands on this demo? Very easily. I actually have a video on the channel where it shows you how to make multiple accounts in different regions so that you can access sales there, games that come out earlier there. So I'm going to put a card up on the screen right now and you guys can click that to see how to set up a European account so that you could check out this demo as well. It takes about five to ten minutes. It's very easy. So put this video on pause if you don't have a European eShop account and check out that video that I put up there so that way you can get in the know and that way you have a European eShop account. But I've been playing this demo all afternoon and I've actually formulated some thoughts on it. It's better than I thought it would be and there's a lot of things I like about it, a few things I don't like about it. So let's talk about Kirby Star Allies. Is this going to be a game that you're going to want to pick up? Let's find out in this preview video. Hey, RGT85. Hey, Sean. Oh my god, it's Stevie Richards! So upon downloading the demo, you are thrust into the main screen of the game and you're given two different options. There's an easy level and a hard level to check out. I checked out both levels, of course, and captured my footage for it so I could splice it in here and show you guys what the game looks like and runs at. Now the game does run at 1080p, 30 frames per second. And I know a lot of people were a bit upset about that. They said it's a 2D side scroller. It should be 60 frames per second. And maybe you're right. After a few minutes though, I didn't really notice anything bad about it. You know, the frame rate seems fine. It's nice. It's smooth it does the job but maybe 60 frames would have been a little bit better now this is a definitely a traditional Kirby experience you know I've played tons of Kirby games from Kirby's Adventure to the weird ones like uh, Kirby's Canvas Curse and Rainbow Curse on the Wii U games that relied more on gimmicks than actual 2d platforming and I'm happy to say that Kirby is just a standard Kirby experience it is a side-scrolling experience you do all of the common things where you suck up enemies take their abilities and then use them throughout the levels but what's different about this game is the friend system basically you can throw hearts at people and when you throw a heart at someone they become your friend so if you don't want their ability but you want them on your team you can have them on your team you can get up to three different friends and each one can have different abilities so you can have one that does like water stuff one that does fire stuff one that's like a ninja all sorts of things like that and it actually plays into the game a good bit because as you're going in these areas sometimes you need certain friends in order to access different areas of the game now as far as the gameplay is concerned like I said it's a pretty standard Kirby experience but it is highlighted by the friend system you can have you know different friends do different things you can team up with friends and have big special abilities and whatnot and I thought that was really cool you know it's based on what people you have in your party so it looks like there's gonna be a ton of different combinations for different things and as far as the graphics are concerned I think it looks pretty good you know it has that bright colorful Nintendo style it's definitely bright and cheerful and it'll make you feel all good inside there's one ability where it's called the friend circle and there's like hearts on the screen and stuff it's definitely a game that if you're a you know, tough masculine dude you're gonna be kind of like uh, I can't really play this around my friends but that doesn't mean it's a bad game by any stretch of the imagination it just means you'll have to let that masculinity down a little bit one thing I did like about the friend system once again is those big abilities because that really comes into play in boss battles now the first level Level you play is a standard Kirby level it's pretty much the first level of every Kirby game with wispy woods at the end and that's your first big boss battle and it's a pretty fun boss battle honestly definitely on the easy side but it is pretty fun to take down wispy woods I love seeing that tree cry when I see that tree cry it's like I've accomplished something in life I've made a tree cry cry for me tree cry for me so I like that about the game as you're going throughout the game there's different things to collect such as health one-ups and puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces come into play at the end of a level. When you accumulate a certain number of puzzle pieces, you then unlock a picture, like a congratulations screen or something. So there is reason to go back and replay levels. Also, there are branching paths that I noticed within the game. So there's once again, more incentive to go back and check out these
these levels after you've already defeated them. Now the hard level I was hoping would be a little bit harder than it was. Unfortunately, the hard level as it's stated in the game was pretty easy as well. And that's probably one of my biggest gripes about the game thus far. I've only played the two levels, but the game definitely seems a bit on the easy side. I never lost a partner. I never lost a life, even battling King DDD, who's at the end of the hard level. But I did like the aesthetics of the hard level and the variety within it. And it sort of opens up more of the gameplay. The street gameplay is pretty streamlined in the easy demo. But once you get into the hard demo, you start to see more different things, such as different abilities and different things you can do with Kirby and his friends. But the difficulty definitely has me a bit worried because I feel like this could be a game that I could beat in a day. If that's considered hard, I need to see very hard or extremely hard or something because that was definitely on the easy side of things. One thing that I think would have helped this game as well is the ability to play with friends online. This is a friend-based game. Your teammate's AI is actually very good. It's some of the best AI I've ever seen. They actually know what to do and know where to be and know when to attack and stuff. But I would have been able to love to link up with some friends and play this online as well because I think it lends itself to that. It's definitely a game that you're supposed to play with people. You know, that's why there's four characters, right? So that was a bit of a disappointment as well. But I would say all in all, the demo made me happy. I'm not sure if Kirby Star Ally is going to be a day one purchase for me. After playing the demo, I have a better feeling about the game. I do like the way the game works. I think there's a cool demo reel at, at the end of a level when you beat it that shows even more abilities. There's a ton of different abilities that you unlock in the game by sucking in characters, of course. And the teammate abilities when you team up with someone else are really cool. The puzzles are really unique and they're not super hard, but they're fun. And that's what this game seems to be all about is just pure fun. Now, I do feel that the difficulty could become a factor though. I need to see a little bit more difficulty. I want more of a challenge in this game. Sure, it's just a demo, but I feel like the hard mode should have actually challenged me a bit. I am a Kirby veteran, but I would have liked to seen a bit more of a challenge within that hard mode because you're sort of dictating the pace for this game. A lot of people are gonna base their purchase on this demo. And the fact that the hard mode was just so easy is a bit disgruntling. But other than that, I'm very impressed with Kirby Star Allies. It looks great, it sounds great. The cutesy animations and the cutesy characters are fine, you know. I don't care about all that stuff. It's it's just very like, wow, they, it's super, it's a cute em up. It's a cute em up game. But I did enjoy the new character abilities. I did enjoy the level design. The levels are beautifully crafted with lots of secrets in there. So it seems like a very solid game. If they can increase the difficulty, if the final version has a higher difficulty, especially maybe in the later stages of the game. I know you kind of got to ease people into a game nowadays, but if the difficulty level at the the end of the stages starts to spike up, then I'm definitely in for it. Right now, I'm a bit still hesitant on picking it up on day one, but I will get it eventually. It seems like a really fun, solid Kirby game. No gimmicks needed, just straight up Kirby 2D side-scrolling action, and I appreciate Nintendo for doing that. So. Those are my thoughts on Kirby Star Allies for the Nintendo Switch. Like I said, if you want to check out this demo, it is very easy. Just head on over to my video. I'll put it up again. Actually, I don't think I could put it up twice. I'll put it in the description box and I'll make the pinned tweet for that video. So check out that video. It's very easy to set up a European eShop account. It takes about five to 10 minutes and you'll be able to check out this demo yourself. And I highly suggest you do because it's an interesting title for the Nintendo Switch. It's sort of the first sort of middleware game for the system that Nintendo has released or is releasing. So it's a good indication of what we could see in the future from Nintendo on the Nintendo Switch. So make sure you check out that video and then check out the demo. And thank you for checking out this preview video. I hope you guys got some insight into the game. I was really excited when I saw that it was available on the European eShop for a demo so that I could check it out and share my thoughts with you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave me your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're watching this on Thursday night when this video went up, do not forget we got a brand new episode of RGT News going up on Friday morning, 9 a.m. So make sure your notifications are turned on for that. Also, if you like my face, check out all the stuff in the description box down below. We got Patreon, social media, t-shirts, all sorts of fun stuff to keep you involved in the world of RGT85. We passed 85,000 subscribers before I made this video. Absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much. I cannot, you know, thank you guys enough for the success of this channel. And that's all I got to say. So I will catch you guys on the next video. Be on the lookout for RGT news in the morning, tomorrow, Friday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern, sharp, scheduled, upload, notifications on. Bam, bam, bam. I'm out. Later. Take
Ele é 